guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Shower, and once again, we are building the Rivendell set. I had to do a part two because it took me eight hours to film the first half of the set, and my partner was helping. So it's a it's it's a really long big set. Um, if you want to just go ahead and put the three Lord of the Rings movies on and keep them on in the background, I feel like that would be a really great option for anyone who wants like, I don't know, anyone who can't work in silence because our attention spans are ever decreasing and you need multiple different medias going at once to keep you entertained. You know, what does this say about us as a society? Will it be cyclical? And eventually we just need complete silence to consume even one thing or will we have millions of devices going at once just so we can get one hit of dopamine. Anywho, all we have left is this massive booklet. I do have the rest of the set like laid out next to me, which is 23 to 49, I believe. Let's get started. This is a massive booklet. Oh my God. So steps 23 through 29 are one big step that are combined it together and then 30 to 35 and then so on and so forth. So we're going to open step number 23. All right. Oh, so since we've last talked, I've done four stand-up shows. I did Neil Brennan's show at Westside Comedy, which was really fun because he was talking about, you know, that he only does stand-up now and he's like looking for hobbies because, and he started to like do puzzles. And I was like, hey, you should try getting into Legos. And he's like, let me do the puzzles first and then I'll get into Legos. And I was like, all right. So if I see him another time, I'm just going to bring him a like a small Lego set and be like, hey, I know you have a son. Oh, actually that would be creepy. No, that would be nice. Just cause no, I don't know if that would be creepy. I just feel like he said that he was bored and he's so bored that he's getting into puzzles that I feel like it wouldn't be weird to bring him a Lego set. I don't know, but I also don't know him that well, but I also, I don't know. I, I mean, what like, what's the worst that could happen? He's like this crazy weirdo bought me a Lego set. Anyways, I got new extensions today. Can you tell? In the last video, my ends are so ratty and now they're not. Naomi will be helping me in the latter half of the video because this is really fun, but <laughs> it's too much work. Oh my gosh, do you wanna know something crazy though? The other day, I went to Target to buy a Lego set for my partner because they were sick. And so I get there and uh, the Lego set has um, one of those like black cords around it that you have to get an employee to cut off because it'll go off in the checkout, whatever the thing. And so I had to, I couldn't do the self checkout. So I got in a line and behind me, there was a guy buying like an entire basket of alcohol. And so like, obviously he needed an employee as well. And so I don't know what the employee's deal was, but the employee who was like running the cash register was like all these entitled people can't just go to self checkout. Like they need like an employee to help them. And I was like, I have a Lego thing that you need to unlock. And then this guy has alcohol with his like red tops on it. I was like, I don't know if that makes us entitled. We need your help. We're going to need an employee's help. So I was just like, that's weird. So I went to Trader Joe's to uh, get my partner soup because I was like Legos and soup. I got them the succulent set. Anywho, um, I get to Trader Joe's and I'm just buying soup, have a mask on, have uh, sunglasses. And the guy running the cash register is like, read the room. And I was like, what? And he's like, if my children were in this store, they'd be behaved. And I was like, did I do something to cash register, like cashiers everywhere? Like what, what do you mean? Read the room. All right. It says step 24 and 25. All right, so for this guy, we have a little elf. Oh my God, I love the details on this just like head. Oh, that is so cute. Where's his legs? Oh, Mr. Legs. Also, I know that a lot of you like to build sets while I build a set, so what set are you building? Uh, let me know. 
Again, guys, I have to be more PG. I'm trying to rebrand so I can get Lego to reach out and send me free Lego sets. And if I'm saying bad words all the time, they will not send it to me. I've been um, kind of creeping on all the people who are Lego partners, like on YouTube, just getting a feel for what their type of content is. And I'm like, how do I stay true to myself? but also do exactly what they're doing so Lego will start sending me free stuff. Cause I'm not gonna lie, Legos are a pretty expensive hobby. Granted, this is the money I would have spent on alcohol, but now that I'm sober again, I know, Sarah, we get it. Oh my God, guys, I can't say a lot. So this is gonna be the worst story ever. If you ever wanna meet someone famous, don't do this. The amount of famous people I have seen in AA Staggering. I can't tell you who, but let me just say, you don't need to say, hey, my name is blank and I'm an alcoholic because huge fan. Um, Yeah, but it's kind of crazy. It's like, um, oh my God, I can't. Ugh. So my only like story that I can tell about like an actual celebrity is the fact that at the place I used to work, not used to work, used to live, there was an Italian restaurant across the street and I, every time I went there, I always saw David Spade. And it was weird to the point where I was like, does David Spade work here? And then maybe he thought, I don't even know if he noticed me. He's thinking, does this, does this person work here? Because I always see them here. I doubt he thought about me at all, but it's okay. But yeah, I've just been reaching out to um, people regarding... Um, stand up sets. I'm like, hey, if you ever need like a, this is literally like verbatim what I DM like a bunch of different stand up shows. Hey, my name is Sarah Shower. I'm new to comedy. How I'm new to stand up. I'm not new to comedy. I've been on a live tour across the US for comedy. However, it was for a podcast, but I'm trying to get into stand up. If you have, if you need like an extra comic, please let me know. I will send you clips. I will send you full videos, but I just want to be on your show. And that's actually worked like five times now. Granted, I have sent probably about 30 messages, but everyone says this is how you do it until you, you know, people start reaching out to you. I'm not complaining. Also, every time I meet up with comedians, they're like, you got to be patient. It doesn't happen overnight. I was like, I don't think I don't think anything happens overnight. I'm willing to work for it, you know? I don't know, I, I don't, you know when you don't know how you come across to people? Like, how am I being perceived? Do I look impatient? Oh my God, the way it's snap. Courtney, get all these snaps in there. That's just so, oh, so good. Oh my God, the way it just, oh. You know what I realized? I bought like a Universal Studios pass to go to Universal Studios and they don't sell Legos. That's the reason why I bought it. So, cause I thought there would be like some sort of Lego store, but they said that they don't, they don't have any Legos. And I was like, what the, f what am I doing here? Oh my gosh. And you know what? I cannot stop seeing all over my For You page. The Eras tour. I mean, I, I don't mind it, but it's just like, <sighs> I watched one clip and now I've got all these clips and I, I'm just, now I'm obsessed with Taylor by proxy. I mean, I, I like Red, the album. I mean, I love, honestly, I do like Taylor Swift. But like now I'm like, I'm in it. The Swifties are organized. Now we're on to step number 26. We are just cruising along. We are booze cruising along. So I've decided with stand up, that my shtick is gonna be 
I'm only gonna wear Juicy Couture Velour track suits on stage. Or just track suits, because Paris Hilton just came out with a track suit line. And if I can get in good with Paris, again, it's all to get free merch. No, I'm kidding. Um, I do like a good track suit. Also, it's just an easy outfit. You know what I mean? And it's comfortable. The only thing that I really was worried about, however, is that Los Angeles gets hot. So I will have to probably wear the shorts tracksuit version, you know, which I feel like looks a little bit ridiculous. But Paris Hilton just came out with a tracksuit line and I think it's really cute. So I might buy some of those, try them on stage. Oh, I love this tiling. Are you guys seeing this? That is gorgeous. Also, just a reminder, I do have a podcast with my co-host Kendall Landreth. It's called the BCC Club, and you guys should check it out. We talk about the weirdest parts of the internet, and then at the end of each episode, we interview someone from the weirdest parts of the internet interview. But we are actually starting to have actual guests on the show. We do have Ashley Gavin um, coming up at a later date, love her. She's based out of New York, I believe, and she still helped me like, she hooked me up with a comedian to talk to about stand-up. And everyone who I know who's a comedian has been so incredibly helpful. I've met with like 10 separate comedians now and each one of them is like, you know, people in this business are real shady. And I do understand what they're saying, like, but all the comedians I've met thus far have been just really helpful and nice. I'm gonna knock on wood but Ashley Gavin is gonna be on the podcast, so funny. And the topic is very fitting because all of us are lesbians. And so if you wanna see like an actual person on the podcast, let me know who you wanna see on the podcast because I'll invite them, I'll slide into their DMs. I simply don't care. I don't care if they reject me at all. And it could be from any part of the internet. If you're like, why would Sarah ever interact with a Minecraft YouTuber? I would, you know? Because again, we're exploring different parts of the internet. It would be weird if we just stuck to the rivers and lakes that we're used to. Also, I wanna produce my own comedy show. Cause everyone, every stand-up comedian I've met with, again, is like, you should just do your own show. And I was like, okay, I will do my own show. So what I was thinking for the show, the name and the concept, is the Bechtel sets, like the Bechtel test. So it's all female comics, and during your set, you have to do crowd work with uh, a woman, cause so it, like, it'll pass the Bechtel test. I don't know. I also, there are some funny guys that I would love to have on, so that could be a bit weird with them. Maybe if when they're on stage, they just let two women in the audience have a conversation during the duration of their set. So it passes the Bechtel test? I don't know. My other thought was calling it court-ordered anger management. Not because I'm going to anger management, I just think it would be so funny. That is completely wrong. I just think it would be really funny if the crowd got to say, I'm going to court-ordered anger management. Oh God. I hate repetitive tiling like on roofs, but I love putting down floors. All right. There's a specific pattern for this. Oh my God, it's so cute. Can I tell you guys something? I am hanging out with more and more neurodivergent people. And I'm coming to not be as ashamed, like starting to not be as ashamed of like stimming. You know what I mean? Like it just means I'm excited. So this is a question for my neurodivergent followers, whether you have autism or ADHD. Hey, if you're dyslexic, you can even chime in too. So like I have seen a lot of people who are like late in life diagnosed with like autism or ADHD or something and 
rightfully so, they're like, you know, it answers so many questions. But now I'm kind of sad because I feel like I'm just now realizing, like, at a lot of points in my life, you know, people are, uh, people have been making fun of me. And they, like, they're like, oh, people were trying to ostracize me. People didn't want to be my friend. And I have, like, uh, they're rightfully, like, that's very valid to feel like, you know, oh, now I'm realizing all these people just didn't actually like me. I feel sort of the opposite in that, like, finding out I was neurodivergent and, like, thinking about my past, I'm like, thank God. You know what I mean? Like, if I knew to care like how people were treating me or like overanalyze it. And I like, I, it, I'm i so far removed from like middle school, high school that yeah, like it does suck to think like, oh, some people were making fun of me and I didn't realize it. But more than anything, I'm just like, I literally don't care. Like I, 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 I think being neurodivergent saved me a lot of trauma, if I'm being honest. Like if I was totally aware of everything going on around me at all times. And I had the emotional capability of, you know, realizing how much, like, I, I just, I feel like it would have caused me a lot more trauma. Like ignorance truly is bliss. And that I just, I don't care about so much stuff. If it's not interesting to me, I don't care. And it's like liberating. Like I remember, um, on my old podcast, VCG, with Brittany, there was a girl who commented on my TikTok, and one of the questions was like, I don't mean this like in an offensive way, but how are you not embarrassed, you know, when we post all these things or we say stupid stuff? And the truth of the matter is that I don't care about other people's opinions of me. I feel like people like deprive themselves of so much joy because they're always like thinking about what other people could think of them. It just like, it just like infects every single part of your life. Oh my God, stickers. All right, we're encountering our first stickers. They're part of the scrolls. Well, they're not scrolls. They're telling of the stories of the hobbits. Telling of the telling the stories of the hobbits. This is the Eye of Saruman. Saruman. Okay, yeah. Sorry, that was. I don't know what that was. my god this is like the coolest ever oh. now we're on to step 27 my partner will my partner will shortly be helping me oh my gosh i'm so excited hopefully okay yeah you can see it oh my god i can see it in the that's so cute okay and it's just gonna snap together. That's literally like. <sighs> Perfect, perfect. All right guys, 28 and 29. Oh my God, it's coming together. All right, we got four pillars. Now they go, ugh, now they go over here. Uh, 
Oh my god, it's just so satisfying every single time. Ooh, so cute. So cute. So cute. Oh my God. I created the archway. This is just turning, oh keep hitting this this is just turning out to be better than better than anything I've ever experienced in my entire life oh my god I love this decal that is gorgeous oh it's their flag I forgot it's what's on uh, Arwen's Necklace? Arwen? Is that her name? Oh, it's a banner. Oh my god. Look at the banner. Look at that banner. That is so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so cute. The way that came together. All right, let's make the boys. Let's make the boys. Sam. Sam, why do you look always so worried? Oh wait, no, this is Pippin. Oh my gosh, this isn't Sam. This is Murray and Pippin. Doi.
Guys, it's almost, oh my God. I'm sorry, I literally, I have to assemble this. All right, so I built the swords. I'm like leaning over, this is in the way. This desk is very small. I'm gonna put the swords in the sword cave. Oh my God, it just snapped in. Oh my God, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna push it all together. I'm gonna assemble it. Okay, can you guys see me from up there? Sorry, I have to move away from the mic because the arm is gonna hit this. All right, gonna move all the guys out of the way. Sorry, fellas. Put you over here. We're gonna assemble the scene. Oh my God. Ah! Also, it's a couple days later. Um, This just took forever to, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God, the pegs are going in. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, it's huge. Oh my, sorry. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm overwhelmed. Oh my God. Sorry, I don't know what else to say. It's just beautiful. I have to put all the guys everywhere. So we have Gandalf. Um, Gandalf's gonna be, he's gonna be, where's he's gonna, he's gonna be standing right here. And then we have the old Hobbit guy. It was his ring to begin with. I think he's gonna be somewhere over here. He's brooding about the castle. All right. And then we have Arwen's dad. Um, the... <laughs> He's gonna be standing by the forge. And then we have Pippin, our little troublemaker. He's gonna be standing right there. And then we have Gimli. He's going to be watching Pippin because Pippin is a troublemaker. And then we have Aragon. He's gonna be facing the camera because he's the main character. Well one of the main characters and then we have an elf uh homosexual overtones he's just gonna be in the background by this little tree and then we have legolas oh my god i love orlando bloom he's gonna be facing you guys as well because he deserves to be seen and then we have the other hobbit that's not the two main hobbits and then we have the one guy who dies in the first movie and he, his dad really likes him. And then in the third movie, his brother tries to sacrifice himself because he will never live up to him. We've all been there. I'm gonna put him in the castle. He's gonna just be wandering about the castle. It's finished guys, it's finished. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love it. This was, you know what, this tree's in the way. This was, without a doubt, the funnest thing I've ever done. Did it take a long time? Absolutely, yes. This took upwards of eight hours, more than that. Honestly, my editor, Courtney, is probably like, <gasps> it snaps together up top too. My editor, Courtney, is gonna be like, this is, this is so much, but oh my God, this is so much fun. Like, I know it's a lot of money, it's $500 and, uh, but it's worth it. Yes, I think this is honestly worth it. This was the, just the way it looks. Are you looking at it right now? Are you guys looking at it? From start to finish, this was the, the most perfect Lego set, the funnest one I've ever done. And it's gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, and I am so uh, sorry, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram or TikTok. On my Instagram, I announce uh, when and where I do stand up shows. I know I talked about that in the beginning, I think. I don't know. It's been so long. But just in case you want to come, also make sure to check out my podcast. Also, make sure to check out my podcast with my co host, Kendall Landreth. Uh, it's called the BCC Club. I will link it below. It's on YouTube, it's on Spotify Podcast anywhere you get your podcast and also tell me tell me which set you want me to do next oh my god i'm literally obsessed all right thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>